Get a little noisy here in the parlor of the Grand Hotel where we're coming to you live. Thanks again for joining our coverage. We so appreciate it. We're going to continue now. We're going to head back to Lansing by Skype to State Representative Wayne Schmidt. He's a Republican from Traverse City. Representative Schmidt, can you hear me? Yes, I can. It's great to be with you, Christy. Well, thanks so much for being with us. We just had the Democratic perspective a couple of minutes ago talking about the budget. Why don't you go ahead and tell me from your neck of the woods where things stand in terms of hashing out the budget? I think we're in good shape. Uh, we continue to be on target for getting done by June 1st, which is unfortunately why we can't be up on the island uh, this week. But uh, I think the people understand that we need to get the budget done. We'll let uh, all those business leaders up there on the island hash out some other things so that uh, we get a good agenda set for next year too, though. But we're in good shape. I think uh, the people are going to be very pleased with this budget. We pay down a lot of debt. And of course, uh, we're, we're doing it in a, in a timely fashion for the schools and the municipalities. So I'm very pleased. Let's talk about that for the schools and the municipalities. What are you pleased about in terms of the school budget? Well, the school budget, and it's not quite yet finalized. This is one of the areas that we're still negotiating on. But the fact is, is that we're, we're, we're going to be responsible, that we will see some per pupil funding increases. Uh, there's talk, and this is very important to uh, my colleagues in northern Michigan, is that there might be actually some funding in the base amount, an increase in that base per pupil funding, which as we're uh, doing up in northern Michigan, so many of our school districts are at basically that $6,900 per pupil. So as I've told the governor and Speaker Bolger, when it comes to best practices, we're educating our children for $6,900 and getting the same results, if not better, than many districts with uh, significantly more money. A lot of um, a lot of smaller cities, they're they're struggling a little bit to make sure that they can pay their bills. Is there any relief there? We're gonna. We're, there's gonna be some relief. We've made. Uh, we've uh, as we restructure the state budget. Last year we got rid of the structural deficit, and that we start to create more jobs. We've seen those. Uh, the, t the changing of the tax structure, getting rid of the Michigan business tax. I know that was an important issue for the Detroit Chamber and so many chambers around the state, including mine in Traverse City. Um, that we're, we're on a path. 80,000 new jobs. Uh, we're looking to beat that this year. That's the kind of thing that's going to get uh, municipalities, local governments back on their feet. As people get jobs, they, the housing market starts to return, the tax base starts to come back. That's what we're looking for. This didn't happen overnight, uh, you know, the shape that we got in. So it's not going to be overnight that we're going to be able to turn around Michigan. But I think even in the last uh, 12 months, we're starting to see the tide turn. Any um, quick before I let you go, any inkling on um, funding for higher education? Uh, that's still one of those areas that they're working on. I know that uh, Senator Shootmaker and Representative Janetsky have been meeting quite a bit along with the appropriations chairman. Um, our commitment is there, certainly. We have some of the best universities and colleges anywhere in the world. Uh, it is our goal, but we need to get the economy back on track. We need to get people working again, uh, because without that, it, there isn't the funding to do anything, K-12 or higher ed. All right. State Representative Wayne Schmidt from Traverse City. Thanks so much for joining us from Lansing, giving us a little update about the budget via Skype. We appreciate it. Have a good night. Thank you.